everyone. Um, I just, I decided to film a video even though like I said I wasn't going to until next year, but I've been doing, I've been filming videos, so I just haven't been uploading them. I'm in love with the booktube community and I was watching videos and I said, why not film a video? Let's start by saying, um, I am kind of like a book snob, like I'll snob books um, based on one or two things and one of them is based on popularity of the book and the other one is based on theme like or what the book is about. Popularity means that I am a total idiot and sometimes just because something's really popular I will not be into it. I know that that is wrong and I've missed out on a lot of good things because of that. Like for example, I did not read um, Harry Potter when it came out because it was so popular and everyone seemed to be reading it. So I just, I couldn't, you know, I, I just couldn't read it I, and it was stupid. Of course Harry Potter came out when I was much younger and I've been trying to get away from this whole thing and it really sucked because when I got older and especially after I met my boyfriend and he actually said, babe, I have the books please read them and I love them and I felt so bad that I didn't grow up reading these books like I should have because they came out at the perfect time for me you know to be the same age as the characters and that really sucked another book that that happened to me with was um, the Hunger Games I did not read the Hunger Games solely based on the fact well not solely but in part based on the fact that everyone was reading it and that really sucks because I I am not a huge, huge fan of the Hunger Games now, now, but I, after reading them, I realized that, hey, I could have read them before and it wasn't going to kill me. It doesn't only happen to me with books, it actually happens with, to me with movies and series and with really anything. Like, I couldn't, um, I've never, I was never able to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer just because it was so popular and that's just dumb. That, that makes no sense, okay? Uh, the other thing I said, it's kind of like the theme of the book, I am... Um, really non-romantic, like very, very anti-romance, anti-anything that has to do with love and, you know, not anything that has to do with love, but um, when love is the central theme of a book or a movie or a series, that just does not fly with me, okay? It's like romantic comedies, I cannot stand romantic comedies, I really, there's just a blockade with me in romance that I, I, I can't. I really can't. And I'm those girls that, here's my reaction to getting flowers. Hi, here's some flowers for you. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Do you want sex? This is because you want sex, isn't it? You could have just said you wanted sex. Seriously, that is my reaction. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's sad, but um, I just don't like that kind of, uh, I'm not that kind of girly girl in that sense, or, you know, romantic person. I don't like poems and songs dedicated to me on the radio, in fact, they make me very uncomfortable. Well, now that that's been said, I want to talk about a certain book that everyone on YouTube has, seems to have read, and that's Anna and the French Kiss. I have not read Anna and the French Kiss. I can't imagine you will guess why I haven't read Anna and the French Kiss. It just, it seems so sugary to me, really. I mean, let's start with the plot, okay? This girl is upset. She's upset at the fact that she's being sent to France to boarding school. I I can't get behind that. I mean, I'm sure that some people feel really attached to the idea of being upset because you have friends that you've grown up with and stuff. Me, personally, my parents had us move around a lot from country to country like I did. I think I counted up that I've, that before, like before sixth grade i had been to four or five schools so you know i i've always kind of left my friends behind and i have friends like scattered in different places and from different schools so i didn't i don't get why she's upset she's being sent to france you know and then there is the character etienne sinclair the way he's described is so romanticized, like he's almost perfect. The way I've heard him describe on reviews is he's handsome, smart, funny, and gorgeous. And I think it was the readables that actually described him as drool worthy, <laughs> you know, and that just, I can't with that. I mean, I know that I think it's also the readables that says that he's a very bad boyfriend, whatever. I just, 
it just doesn't appeal to me. That's just not the kind of book that appeals to me. This one just, I think, I think it takes it over the edge because first of all, you got Paris and France, the city of romance, you know, and then you got a romance story going on in the city of love and lights and that's just too much sugary goodness for me. I, I'm just not into that kind of stuff. And I almost wanted to give the book a chance, but every time I kept wanting to give the book a chance, I just kind of had to chuckle a little and be like, oh, you're not gonna like that. And then, I mean, it's okay. I, you know, you don't have to like every book out there. And that's just one no-no book for me. I just keep wishing that I'll come across a review that is just talking about this that I'm feeling. <laughs> because everyone seems to love it and I just don't don't even I'm not even interested in this book <gasps> that makes me a horrible person I don't know it doesn't it doesn't really make me a horrible person I just I I'm not interested in these kind of stories and also I guess it's also because as a teenager I was even worse at this romantic stuff than I am now like as a teenager I literally ran away from people that were romantic like ran away it's kind of cute if you think about it now but at the time it wasn't so yeah so that's those are my thoughts on that book I mean if you have any of these thoughts please please leave a comment down below so that I cannot feel so lonely in this little corner of the world I am in so if, if you think that I am completely wrong in judging this book by its cover or you know by its synopsis or whatever Please let me know because who knows, like, I might actually enjoy it. I, I don't think I will because, like I said, I don't even enjoy romantic comedies at all. If you have any thoughts, please leave a comment down below. Or, you know, if you want to tell me you're crazy, Mooney, for thinking this way, whatever. Just let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you also want to talk about the whole popularity thing, and if you've snobbed books based on popularity, also let me know. I mean, um, I, I know that I can't be the only person in the world that does this. So yeah, and that's it for now. I'm sure I'm gonna get, be getting a call from my sister anytime now that says, hey, I'm ready, let's go to class, even though we both hate that class, but whatever. So yeah, bye, 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 bye.